to North Carolina and Bank of America Stadium here in Charlotte. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And off we go from uptown Charlotte. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. second and five now Tua on the bootleg here the right side going to be caught here by Waddle and he takes this up to the 40 yard line before being corralled on first and ten it's Mostert and he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Second down and four. Looking to pass. Tua. Eluding the pressure right. That's caught by the Notre Dame man. It's Durham Smythe. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. Give him 32 on the play. Up the middle they go with Mostert. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Tua sets up to pass it. Buying time to his left. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And the Dolphins are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Going to the air, tug of Iloa being chased. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. To a tug of Iloa, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Tua and the Dolphins offense stay in put. They'll go for two. Two are going to try and throw for it. Escaping the pressure right. So pretty interesting. They hit the yard line. Okay, break. Striker, three, three. Let's do it. It's Young off play action. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. And this shot downfield on second down is brought in. And yeah, they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of 25. Certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. That's a game of three. It's third and seven. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. That winds up being a four-yard loss and leads to fourth down. And look at this. It's a fake. And this is caught. And the gamble pays off. They get the first. A curious 
best decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Always enjoy a good fake, but I really enjoy it when he throws the football from puck formation. Now, you were a kicker and a punter in high school. Did you ever do that? <laughs> One time, threw to my man Tim Jones on a botched field goal attempt. Hit him right in the numbers, and Jones, he just dropped it. Oh, the poor guy. Well, we had a fake punt here, and this guy caught it, so I think he and his friends will be okay with that one. And he loves his play call, right? He's been waiting for this one all week long. Been had that arm loosened up ever since they got to the stadium. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. A gain of one. Six-nothing our score after one. With the score, Dolphins six. Second quarter now from Charlotte, and it's the Panthers with the football as they've got it with a third down coming up. Up the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Young on third down. They'll run the screen with Hubbard, and he'll get nothing out of that one. Good contain, no gain on the screen, and it'll bring up fourth down. And I know that one didn't work out the way they thought, but I don't think it was a bad time to call this play. You're thinking on third down, you might possibly see some pressure. You might see a blitz. So they tried to set up the screen, but that one was well read, and they stopped them for no gain. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Fourth down, Young. Right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the Dolphins are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, They'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. Now HN on first and 10. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Ball on the 40 now. Here's a second down and nine. Play action. Now it's Tua. Flush to his right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. He's still going to breath a little with Tua in the top of the pocket, but there he made the wise call. But there's nothing downfield. Just a little bit. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Now he'll escape to his left. And that is incomplete. That was actually throwing game 101 right there. You challenge double coverage like that, you're liable to get burned. Fortunate that was just incomplete. And a tough ask here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. They'll let this go deep for Waddle. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Amari Barno. And the Panthers are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. That's a game of seven. Brings up third and 
looking for three yards to pick up the first. And he is not going anywhere. He will not even get back to the line of scrimmage as the clock will stop at the two. Anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And they're able to get this one across the First down now with that clock rolling. Here is Young. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Trying to get that one to his tight end. And they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. Meanwhile, Young's throw complete to his receiver, Thielen. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 39. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. To the air once more, Young. That'll be caught right side, Chenault with it. The Panthers got to go quickly. They're moving with a sense of urgency right now. Now Young. They'll find Thielen working the middle. From the red zone now, Young. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Man in motion left, Mingo. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Now they send a man in motion right. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. That is not going to be any help as they dump it behind the line scrimmage they went backwards five yards there on third down to bring up fourth young to throw it work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete touchdown panthers of the first half and the Panthers have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead into the locker room that is a near perfect end of half drive right there and we've seen that many times from the best in the league but do you really expect to see it done that well by a rookie and how about the timing finishing it almost near the zeros had he gone down to a knee maybe a yard shy of there at the 24 Tua, the final shot before half. And get this in the hands of Hill, complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box. Establishing. So now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game, and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. And he takes his beyond the 
14 yards, good for a Panther first down. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for. A really good change of pace back. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll run with Sanders. He'll take it past the 40 to the 41, second down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. A three yard pickup brings up second and seven at the 41 yard line. Second down, back to Sanders. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49 yard line. That will be a first down pickup of eight. Well, he's been playing in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Second and nine. One yard gain brings up second and nine. Young now from the 50. And his throw is going to be incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just an eight. Now Young. And this is going to be incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Keep in mind, they're three of four so far in these situations. They'll try and run for it. And yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the field. The conversion is successful with a sizable gain of 13 and the decision to go for it. Looks like a smart one. Young looks to throw on first down. He'll dump this one off to Hubbard. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. To throw on second down is Young. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, they have that one snipped out. There's in the area, and it winds up incomplete. They'll try and run for this with Hubbard. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. They end up getting stumped twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Young to throw on four. A short throw hauled in by Trimble. And unable to break away, they stop him a few yards shy. And the Panthers turned away on fourth down. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Off the play action, tug of Iloa. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And he'll be first out of bounds all the way down at the 25-yard line. It's a big play there for Miami. 49 yards. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10.
On the throw, let him too much that time. It's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Throwing now is Chugga by Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Dolphins are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's been a good one so far, just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. And the question now, how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal? A field goal would give them the late lead. They'll run. a champ. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Going to the air, Tugabailoa. Touchdown, Dolphins! By much as he's marked down officially at the 21. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. The play fake, now Young. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. On play action, Young. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, DJ Chark, 79 yards. And the Panthers answer back away to the 38-yard line. Great return. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in the tight one. Give him a couple on the scramble in second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down. But give him credit. He stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers. The positive yardage. Well done. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. It'll be a game of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. That's a really nice job of them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game. And there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. And he'll have a Dolphins first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. It's a game of and the first down. On first down, they go with most of the end. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They come up on a first and goal with this game still hanging in the balance. Tua. Here's Mostert. 
A nice display of power, but it only takes him to the seven. He's dropped there. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short game. Here's Tua. Dancing to his left. The court again. And this is caught. For a moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple it. flags down. Yeah, so let's sort this out. Two, Late seven. game, that hurts. Take the touchdown off the board. No doubt about it. And this is where you make three. a great movie scene, right? Go in, rally the team. Okay, we lost points there. Let's get it back and go out and score again. Can he get it done? This crowd doing all they can. Here's third and goal. Throwing to a they'll run with Mostert. And he'll get this. This for the lead in the final stages. Sanders' kick is good. And the this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop. If they're going to get out of here with a victory. Here's first and ten. Here's Young. Into the hands of Sanders. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The Panthers are going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Young to throw. Able to connect with Chark. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Final minute, one timeout remaining. First and 10. Young's throw here on target to host. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Right, they picked up Young. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to take the lead here in the final minute. This is up and good from Pinheiro. Money the most of the 60,000 people here, but they're all willing to buy him. Now Tua. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. But they'll come up now. This is second and long. Here's Tua. Connecting with Hill. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. One final try for Tongue of Iloa. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Yeah, it was a long shot, but they did get one final chance to try to score and overcome this small deficit. No touchdown, though, Charles. And that brings this one to a close. Yeah, I think Hope was wearing one jersey, and Worry was wearing another on the other sideline as that final snap played out. Now, we've seen some incredible plays to win games before, but in this case, I think the distance was just a little bit too great for it to happen here. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been... PlayStation.